Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to do a face detection system using Google's MediaPipe library. This is the first video in a series of projects that we will be doing in the next few days using MediaPipe. Let's get started. So I have Colab opened up here. And the first step here is to install and import the libraries. And for this, there's only one library that we need and that is pip install MediaPipe. This will take care of all the detection and representation modules that you need for this project. And now we will import some of the libraries that we need. We have import CV2. Oh, CV2 itself, just CV2 in order to do the open CV. And this is something interesting. I know MediaPipe is from Google and it has its own functions, but if you look into the underneath of MediaPipe, it's nothing but open CV. So the next step is from Google dot collab dot patches import CV2 underscore I and show. This is to display the image on collab itself. Uh, it will also import math and will import numpy as NP. So these are the libraries that we need in order to do the program. The next step for us is to read the images from collab. So let's do the uh, files command from Colab, which will allow us to pull up these image files from our computer. So in order to do that, we need from Google Colab import files. And this files will allow us to upload these folders directly into Colab. So we'll do upload, upload or short range or upload images equal to files.upload. So immediately when this function comes into execution, it will allow us to you know, pick up or choose files from our directory. And they all will be stored as dictionary variables in upload. So in order to read those files, what we will do is, this is for short range images. So there are, the model, the media pipe library comes into two formats. Model zero and model one. Model zero is for short range images. So the way they describe is, if it's a short range, which is within two meters, so let's say the face is within two meters of the camera, then it's a short range image. But if it's more than two meters and within five meters of the camera, then it's a long range image. And for both of these purposes, they have two different models that they have trained this face detection on. So for now, we'll test the short range function and we'll read all the images which are close up to the camera and we'll call it as short range images and equal to. Now we're going to read each file that was uploaded using the upload function. So and we'll store it in a dictionary and we'll initialize a dictionary and we'll call name is equal to cv2 dot im read name. So it's, we're going to iterate through every file and then use the cv to im read function to save it under the name of the file along with the image file associated with it. And this is all going to be in a dictionary. For name in upload, in upload dot keys. So this will take care of all the images and it will save it for us. Why are we getting this error here for name keys? And let's try running this. So we'll first install all these libraries. We'll give it a second. Once that's done, we come here and let's upload the Google Colab. It did not like what we did here. Files.upload is good. Short range images is good. And then we have instead of name, it should be we are just because we are saving it as a dictionary. So what we are telling is whenever we call a name function, a name variable, it should associate that image which was read by CV. We just run this and it's now giving us the option of choosing those files from a directory. So we'll come up here. I have all these images saved here. And let's import just, just this one image, person one. 
It's taking a few seconds, it's a big file and it'll upload the file and save it under the short range images for us. Now let's do the detection aspect of media pipe. We'll import media pipe as MP. We'll initialize the face detection of media pipe and we do that by MP face detection equal to MP dot solutions face detection. This is nothing but an inbuilt function of media pipe, which we are calling and initializing our media pipe to run face detection. Once this is done, then we'll initialize the drawing aspect. So in order to draw those rectangle boxes around the faces, we will just specify that we need a box of so-and-so thickness, so-and-so color, and all those specifications. And for that, we'll call MP drawing equal to MP dot solutions dot drawing utils. So under drawing utilities of media pipe, it has a drawing function and we will use that to draw and we'll specify the drawing specifications that we need by again calling MP drawing, drawing specs. And here we'll give the thickness, let's say the thickness is equal to maybe one to start and the radius. So this is another interesting thing of media pipe. So we do circle radius equal to one. So media pipe allows us to detect the face and so it will put a bounding box around the face. But in addition to that, it will also identify some of the main landmarks of the face, like the eyes, the ear, the location of the nose and the mouth. So that will all come under the circle radius. So wherever you find these key features, it will draw a circle, a red color circle around that location. But once we have this, the next step would be to go through each image and find each face and then draw the bounding box on it. For that, we will, oh, why did I bring the bracket from here? Come back here, with MP face detection, dot face detection. So this is the face detection. And here we will initialize the model by saying what kind of sensitivity we need and what model we will be using. Because we, in this case, we're using the short range model. So we need to specify that the images we are specifying or we are providing are all short range images. So we do face detection, min, minimum detection confidence or the sensitivity is equal to 0.5. And the model that we are selection is by default or we are specifying the zero model, which is for short range. And we will call this model, this whole system as face detection. So instead of calling this big sentence next time, we will just call face detection and media pipe will know what it needs to do. So with this face detection, we will then initialize and say for name, an image in all the short range images that we read up here. So it's going to reiterate through all the images that we uploaded and read through them short range images dot items because this is a dictionary file. And then once we have all of them, we will go through each of them, do the face detection and then draw the uh, draw the bounding box on all of them. So we'll call results equal to face detection dot process. So we're calling the face detection function now to process all the images that we sent and then give us the results, which is nothing but the location of all these important landmarks and the bounding box. So process and we convert that image that we have uh, uploaded, uh, the image that we read through CV to IM read because OpenCV reads images in the BGR format. However, media pipe and all other other image processing functions, they require RGB format. So we need to convert BGR to RGB and we use CV2 color, convert color image using the CV2 function, CV2 color BGR to RGB. And once we have the RGB function connected, and we have the results, 
we just need to put one exception in case there were no faces detection. So it should not give a certain error and stop the loop. Instead, it should just continue. So we'll say if not results.detection continue. So this way it will not throw us an exception and it will still continue. But if there were results detected, then you need to just draw the rectangle on it. So what we do for that is for detection in results dot detection mp now we're calling the mp drawing function draw detection using the image and the detection function we had once this is done then just display the image using cv to im show and this will be the image. So we'll give it a second and we'll run this. It's giving us an error right at this point because we gave 0 0.5 instead of that it should be 0 0.5. So let's run this. Again, there is an error in the solutions output. So it's calling results.detection. So it couldn't verify a results.detection function. Why could it not detect? It should be results.detections. Results.detections. Let's run this. So we have the image ready for us. It's able to detect and put the bounding box on it. And if you notice these small red dots here, just because this image is a very high resolution image, you can't see those dots very clearly. But if you zoom in a little bit, you'll notice these red dots located at the main landmarks of the image, which is the eyes the ear, nose, and the mouth. Uh, we'll use the same function to do the long range images. So instead of uploading short range, we'll be doing long range. And we'll come here, instead of short, we'll say full range. So this, we can upload full range images. And at the same time, we will upload these, the same function but instead of model selection, like here we did model selection zero, we'll give it model selection one, and it should re read not through the short range images, but the full range images, like the ones here. So we're gonna be saving it under a new dictionary called full range images, and we'll use that same function here for this. Now let's run this. It should allow us to upload these files. I have all of these, which are long range images. It'll take a few seconds and we'll also run this simultaneously. So we have that resource ready for us. We can see these long range images. It's going through all of these images, detecting the multiple faces it has, and also the main landmarks that we discussed about in this case as well. Here in this case, you can see all the, instead of the three faces, the two were detected, but this particular face was not. So again, it has its own limitations, but it's pretty fast. It, the advantage of MediaPipe and what I'm excited about is it allows us, it has some libraries that easily makes it for feasible for you to upload the same code on an Android iPhone, or you could also upload it on a you know, cloud file on a website. So all of them can be run on the same code. And that's something I'm excited about to see how computer vision and machine learning can work through us. So oh, that's the whole process in this series. We'll try to you know, come up with different projects that we can use do using MediaPipe. So if you like this video, consider watching the next one in the playlist, which will be soon. I'll, I'll, I'll try to upload it as soon as possible. But with that, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.